Number 34, would you be willing to financially back an inventor who is marketing a device that she claims has 25 kilojoules of heat transfer at 600 degrees Celsius, has a heat transfer to the environment at 300 degrees Kelvin, and does 12 kilojoules of work? Explain your answer. So firstly, if I know the temperature of the hot reservoir and temperature of the cold reservoir, I can simply calculate the uh, Carnot efficiency, meaning the efficiency, the maximum theoretical efficiency that's possible for this engine. So that's temperature of the cold divided by temperature of the hot. So I can simply find now that the uh, temperature of the cold was 300 Kelvin. I don't need to do any conversions because it's already in Kelvin. Divided by 600, and this works out to 0.5. 1 minus 0.5 is simply going to be 0.5. So the maximum efficiency possible given the conditions is going to be 50%. Maximum. The actual efficiency uh, they're mentioning here in the problem is that it's doing 12 kilojoules of work, right? However, it's being added to the system is going to be 25 kilojoules of heat transfer. So essentially using now this particular formula at the top, this is basically the actual efficiency, I'll call it E sub A, is going to be equal to the work divided by the heat added to the engine. So they basically told us the work is going to be 12 kilojoules. I can leave it in kilojoules as long as I'm consistent with the unit on the bottom. They also told me kilojoules here, so that's 25. Let's do now the actual efficiency. So the actual efficiency is 12 divided by 25, so this is about 0.48. So this is 0.48. Now here's the thing. This is the maximum efficiency, and this is the actual efficiency. So you might say, well, all right, it's below the max, so uh, yeah, sure, I'd back them. Uh, however, note that most real engines do not achieve a greater efficiency than 70% of their theoretical max. So what percent is this of its theoretical max? Well, we can simply find that, right? 0.48 divided by 0.5. So let's do the math. Divide by 0.5. It's going to be about 96, 0 0.96, which is essentially 96, 96%. All right. So what is being claimed is that the engine that she or he or whatever, who, who the inventor built here is going to be 90%, 96% efficient in relation to its maximum efficiency, whereas in reality, we can't achieve above 70. So um, yeah, I'd back them. No, I'm kidding. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Take care.